Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing an Ocarina unboxing and this one is kind of fun because this package has traveled to me all the way from Russia. Um, I ordered from this Etsy shop called Dude Key Music and they have all kinds of, they have like regular ocarinas, but they also have all kinds of sort of strange ones. So <laughs> I ordered a polyphonic ocarina and also a ocarina tuned to the Arabic scale. So I am super excited to open these up and see what they look like. So here we go. Let's pull it on out. Oh, I'm always slightly nervous about fragile things that come from overseas because oh, you never know how well they're going to do. But these are super securely packed. There's one all wrapped up nicely. And here's number two all wrapped up nicely. And that's it. <laughs> So let's cut these open and see what these ocarinas look like. So unwrapping ocarina number one. Not sure which one this is, so we'll see. <sighs> Wrapped up super nicely, I love it. Oh, and here is the polyphonic ocarina. Isn't that just fun? Now this is made with um, a red clay and then he puts like a black clay over it. So this is not a glaze, it's actually just the clay. So it has a really nice texture. As you can see, each side has the three holes. It's made pentatonically, so it should be super fun to play because um, you can't get a lot of dissonant notes on that. Um, and there's the two different chambers. You can sort of see the mouth holes for that. All right, let's open up ocarina number two. Okay, and here is ocarina number two. Um, so this is gonna be the one tuned to the Arabic scale, um, which I think is a harmonic minor. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited to try it out because <laughs> I like these different scales. So we're just gonna open this up. Get all this protective wrapping out of the way. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I absolutely love this gorgeous. Um, There's just a little bit of glaze on this one spot. And obviously it's a cute little leaf, which I love. And then the rest of it is that black clay. And you can see through the finger holes that it's the pretty red clay inside. Just overall an absolutely gorgeous ocarina. <laughs> um, so it's got the four holes on one side and three holes on the other. So I'm just going to do a little review of this um, <clears throat> Arabic scale <laughs> ocarina and um, kind of play some scales so you can hear what it sounds like. Very exciting. <laughs> and uh, if you would like to see my review for the pocket polyphonic ocarina, then you can click on my Patreon down in the description and uh, <laughs> go ahead over there and that will be an exclusive video coming up this month so <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this a little bit for you and you can kind of hear what it sounds like and then I will tell you my thoughts <laughs> adore this ocarina. <laughs> um, I got it for about $64, which I think is a total steal for this beautiful craftsmanship. Um, it is tuned in a tenor G, um, so it's lower than um, your alto C, but higher than a bass C. I um, mean, as you noticed, it's got kind of a fun scale to it. <laughs> um, I really, really love weird scales like these for improvisational stuff. Um, I play a lot for my kids at preschool. And uh, as you can imagine, <laughs> like bringing sheet music into that environment is really difficult. Um, like you set it on the ground and somebody steps on it or you try and put it on the stand, but like kids are moving and it falls off and it's really difficult. <laughs> 
Um, so I like instruments that I can just sort of mess around on and it still sounds neat and kids are enthralled. <laughs> so this is really awesome for that purpose. You can just do all kinds of stuff that just sounds cool on this. Um, the only thing about the sound that I don't love is that high note where all the fingers are up. Um, it does get pretty squeaky, like there's a squeak to the, to the, um, I don't even sure what that's called, the little chamber, the voicing, that's what it is. There's a little squeak to that <laughs> when you get up to the highest note, um, which is possible to avoid with breath work, um, but being a little new to this, I'm kind of having some trouble. <laughs> um, but it is really neat to mess around on. I'll give you a, an idea of it. So it just sounds cool. Like, um, I didn't plan that at all. It just comes out when you have this instrument. It's so pretty. It sounds neat. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out about the way that this instrument is made that I love. Um, so as you can see, the actual holes in the ocarina are all kinds of different sizes. Like this one is really tiny. Um, this one is pretty big, but when you're back here, it's really hard to tell that because the grooves for your fingers are all about the same size. And I can't even tell you how much I love that as a beginning ocarinist, sometimes finding those holes with your fingers when you're trying to play can be really hard. <laughs> um, so having those bigger grooves for the teeny tiny holes is so helpful <laughs> for being able to find the right fingerings. And I just really appreciate that. Uh, so. That is my review of this cute little ocarina that plays the Arabic scale. Love it. Um, and again, if you want to see my review for the Pocket Polyphonic Ocarina, um, just click on the Patreon link down there. And uh, if you sign up for $10 a month, then you can have access to my exclusive videos. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys all so much for um, listening to my review and watching these videos. I hope you all have just a wonderful day. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.